Hey guys, welcome to the Testing Academy. My name is Pramod, and in this video, we are going to discuss about an effective bug report with template. And I'm going to share a live example with you uh, on Jira. Uh, I'm going to we're going to discuss about the what are the important points that you should take care, how you can capture a uh, decent or effective bug bug report that developer can understand very well. All right, so let's get started. Awesome guys. So before we start guys, I uh, just wanted to let you know that if you want to learn about the API testing using Postman, you can go to the learnapitesting.com. If you're serious about the Selenium automation uh, with custom framework, if you want to create it right, you can go to ldr.live slash 30 days. Free. It's a free training on YouTube uh, as a playlist section. You can go uh, do that training and basically can create your own custom framework, add it to your GitHub profile so that you will have more advantage uh in your resume right that you can do that uh also all the download all the down mind map as well as the notes which i am discussing even this mind map is available on the other dot live slash notes you can go to this uh link and you can download anytime any but whatever the resource that i'm talking about all right awesome so let's start the video now basically which i'm going to be discussing is bug report this is very very important and uh couple of folks were discussing about how to write an effective bug report so here it is first of all what exactly is a bug report guys bug report is nothing but a documentation of a bug form uh, it's a basically a documentation which allow any developer or any other person who can basically see uh, the issue that you have reported which you have basically found in the staging environment or probably in the any production environment right it's a documentation or you can say it's a step-by-step -step, uh, process document which includes proof uh, what was the issue and how i can reproduce that issue all right so any effective report bug that we are discussing about right it's it's basically the first important point is it should be to the point right and this is the step exactly you need to start, uh, basically write in the bug report is it uh, what is the problem what are the steps and if you have any proof like if this is bug is happening or not okay and overall what we are doing uh, what works what exactly the purpose that we are basically uh, adding the text in the uh, any bug report is what exactly happened how it happened and where it is happening right now okay so these three questions uh, three uh, three things that you need to mention in your bug report okay so any bug report that you have seen they should include a title which basically very similar to this whenever i do x with y settings z happens right so the here it can be for example uh, in login page when i enter a valid username password it is not working with an error right so you can uh, add your title according to this the very important point is step to reproduce it should be very very easy steps to reproduce that you should enter and it should be start to finish which basically means you can you should enter something like we're going to see the example here in the end in this one which basically says uh, navigate to this url do this do this and you have to mention your test data also in your step to reproduce right uh, actual result and expected results are nothing but actual is basically what you are expecting and expected is basically what you are getting right now for example actual result for a login will be login should happen right but in ex uh, expected login is getting failed so you can mention that priority and severity i think that i have discussed earlier in my videos also you need to add the proper priority to the bug if it is a very important right now is the login is no, not working for everyone you can say uh, it's a p0 bug and you can decide the severity accordingly right so i have created a separate video of priority versus uh, severity you can go through it or you can google online or you can watch other videos also how to enter the severity and priority all right another interesting thing which people come sometimes which is uh, miss is screenshot as well as videos make sure you add the screenshot uh, as well as video i'm going to give you one very important thing which is very uh, it's a free screen recorder and annotation tool it can capture these uh, screenshot also which we, and you can exactly capture how the bug happened and what was the issue even you can record your microphone and create a video and attach to the bug right uh, this is a very free tool which is called a screenity it's a chrome extension you can download it and you can use it 
uh, trust me it works very well you can annotate them so it will be very very easy to include your screencast or screen uh, step to reproduce basically you can reduce your step to reduce uh, sorry i mean you can reduce your step to reproduce process if you include more screenshot and videos okay environment you can mention that if the staging environment production environment additional information which is important is uh, you can mention report uh, url server logs if you have mobile logs if you are facing any kind of a browser version you can mention all right and one important thing is if you uh, go to this link i have mentioned uh, this is kind of a template for a bug report that you can go to this uh, basically as that uh, slash dot 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 you can go to this link it's available in the description also and you can see a one liner for them right so let's do one thing let's see one uh, bug which is reported in a dummy jira that i have created for you guys which is bugs dot atlassian.com slash bug dot one and if you see uh basically the title is login for a user is not working uh, with a valid username and password that i have added and here if you see i have entered steps to reproduce right uh here actual so actual results expected results you can mention you can mention url environment logs and uh, you will see the attachment right screenshots available as well as if there is a video you can attach that uh, another thing is priority i have added as a medium i have added label uh, you can add your component for example it can be a login or any component that you would like, right you can assign to a particular do uh, developer right and there are other fields in the jira also that you need to fix uh, that you can definitely give it a try right so that was all about it guys i hope you have learned something like what are the how to write an effective bug report which includes uh, and what are the field that you have to enter which are kind of a mandatory right i hope these are clear now and you have a uh, live example also how you can uh, enter a bug proper effective bug right all right so thanks a lot for watching this video guys uh, till now if and uh, if you have any doubt or if you want to add anything you can comment down below i'll be happy to help please make sure to like this video if you have got some help from this video thanks a lot and i'll see you in the next video bye